Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I got the deck of Scarlet number seven and really excited about sharing this with you. As you can tell, I've already used it. So here is the eye, cheek, and lip look I created with the little goodies in the deck of Scarlet. So the artist in chief for this season is uh, Roxette Ar Arissa. Ooh, I don't know how to say her name. I'm already sorry. So, um, she, her little note is, I'm so excited to share this palette with you. I wanted to create something fun for all my rocks stars to play around with. Love you all and hope you love this palette. So when I first saw the palette, I was like, oh my gosh, that is a bright greenish blue. What am I going to do with this? So as you can see, the colors are starry eyed, Bora Bora bronzed, rock star and lovesick. I used all of them. And then on the lipstick side, we have Smooch and Swept Away. I actually used both of those to create kind of a little bit of an ombre look. So anyways, want to talk about the palette a little bit. The lipstick is really, really soft and creamy. My lips look, feel amazing. They look amazing also. You know it. You know it. Um, they included a lip liner called Foxy, so you're going to see that as I place that kind of all over the lid before I put the lipstick on. They did include an eyeliner. The eyeliner is really, really light and kind of shimmery. And I tried it on my inner waterline because I thought that might make my inner waterline pop and it was just lost on my face. I think that color is going to be great on someone that has darker skin. It is going to look fantastic. My skin, it just kind of got lost uh, just because I am so fluorescent white. So anyways, that's okay. Things happen. But I went ahead and um, used a teal green eyeliner from Marc Jacobs to pick up and match kind of the Bora Bora. So, I used the starry eye kind of all over the eye, up into the transition. I did the bronzed almost on an upside down U. Then I took the Bora Bora and dotted that on the inside. So as you can see, it's not like the Bora Bora is overpowering, it's a dot of color. So it brightens the eye, but it's not like when you first look at this color, you're like, holy crud, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't want to look crazy but it really does when you surround it with the neutrals and ground it with the neutrals you can put that bright spot of color and it's not overwhelming it doesn't look trashy it doesn't look like I don't know you just got into your box of crayons and then they exploded on your face so it does it does none of that now I did like the color lovesick it picked up on the cheek really well and this uh, highlighter rocks star is a nice golden color so I took this and I also put that on the inner corner to kind of brighten that up and a little bit under my brow so I really love this palette at first I, I will be honest that Bora Bora intimidated me but as I've always you know I realized or I learned a long time ago if you take your uh, neutrals and surround them um, around a bright color, you can pull it off and it's not overwhelming. So anyways, I really enjoyed doing that. So this palette was fun for me to use today. It feels beachy. I feel like I should be laying on a beach, maybe with a adult cocktail in my hand. Having a cabana boy drop it off, I don't know. That would be fantastic. So anyways, if you want to see how I created this eye look, face look, using the Deca Scarlet palette number seven, you're in the right spot, so stay tuned. This is such a pretty package. I love it. It's like Art Deco. I don't know. It's just pretty. Just pretty. So let's see what's inside, shall we? All right. So this is palette number seven. And looks very beachy. Very beachy. This just screams, you need to be on the beach right now. And I'm thinking, yes, I should be, right? <laughs> I do need a vacation. All right, I do like sometimes starting off with my face being done. So we're going to add a little bit of lovesick to these cheeks. 
We're gonna brighten damn apples. When I do my the my face before my eyes, I just feel like I have a better shot at not being discouraged. I think because my face without makeup looks so bad that I just get discouraged. All right, so uh, this was called Love Sick. This one is called Rockstar. Which who doesn't want to be a rock star? Actually, I don't want to be a rock star, but I would love to be able to hold a tune and not be tone deaf. Oh, that's so pretty. Is it pick? Oh yeah, it's it's picking up on camera. Boom. I just wish I could sing, and my dog's not howl. I mean, I don't hold it against them. They just want to sing with me because. I think so bad. We got a lip liner and eyeliner in this box, which is above and beyond. So let's see what color this is. This is called Foxy. All right, let's get a Foxy on. Foxy lady. <laughs> Let's not go overboard this early in the morning. My husband's still asleep, so I don't have to worry about him hearing me. <laughs> You're probably thinking, please, have her husband wake up next time. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this swept away. And I just heard him, so all my bad jokes will go away. Then I'm going to take the color Smooch. Okay, so we smooched it up a little bit. So now I feel a little better going into the eyes since I've got some of this under control. Under control. We're gonna start out with the color Starry Eyed. Ooh, that doesn't look like it has any fallout. Does it have a plat? No, it doesn't. But maybe it still has the plastic over the top. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up the color Bronze. Now that one ha does have a bit more fallout. Not much. If you think of your eye kind of like an upside down U, that's kind of the pattern I'm going. Ooh, look, I got fallout. I should have tapped my brush. Lord have mercy, can we get that off without looking like I got punched? I may need to fill, fix my under eye stuff. I'm going to pick up the color now Bora Bora on a little bit of a flat brush. Picking back up the color bronze. I'm going to take the color Rockstar here and go on the inner corner. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up this rock star and use that right up underneath my eyebrow bone. My eyebrows. <laughs> I can hear my voice getting lower so he can't hear my stupidity. What can I say? What can I say? He's going to have to watch the video to hear my stupidity. Okay, so they gave us an eyeliner. This one's called Goddess. Ooh. Look how pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Okay, let's try it in our waterline. Yeah. 
You know, that eyeliner didn't really pick up, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Marc Jacobs. This color is in C, and that should help pick up and bounce off our upper color. That's better. Okay, now we're in the game. I'm gonna pick up the color Lauren by Thrive Cosmetics. And that's what I'm going to use to do a smudgy, which is a very technical term again, eyeliner on top. So again, I'm not going for a really tight uh, point as far as like a liquid liner would be. I'm going to also go right a little bit under the lower lash line. Then I'm going to pick up, I think this brush here, and go back in with the color bronzed. Time for some eyeliner and false eyelashes, and then I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Deck of Scarlet number seven palette. I hope you enjoyed this look. It feels very beachy, very fun, playful, kind of getting ready for spring and summer. So this palette was absolutely adorable. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.